Now, I'm going to tell you a little story, Pauline, because I've been pushed around a fair bit by the old Gulf Coast, and it's cost quite a fair bit of cashes over the times, because you believe that you can do certain things and treat people in certain ways. So, this is an old notice, I'm not going to hold everything in front of the camera, but an old notice that I kind of rang Spur, and I said, can you send me a total bill and I'll pay it, I'll pay it because I was still fighting in the courts Pauline, I was still in the courts and I didn't want other things to impact what I was doing because everything's about money, isn't it Pauline, so I went down to the transport authority, right and they told me, my car which I wasn't in at the time I had someone take me down there Pauline and they told me that my car was out of rego and that I needed to go and get a roadworthy. So everything was cool because I'd paid off all my fines, Pauline, to, to go and get this rego that I was required to have by, by law, apparently. So I went down to this uh, mechanic, I think it was Ultratune, Pauline, and when I went down to the mechanic, one of your cameras, it, it stung me in my car while I went to go and get this roadworthy Pauline and this fine turned up and it didn't turn up in the mail or anything I, I had to wait and and then this notice turned up that I hadn't paid something that I knew nothing about and then I had to go and repair some things on the car Pauline okay and I had to go and get extra roadworthies and stuff so I went back to this mechanic Pauline to get this all signed off. I've got all the paperwork here, okay, for all of the car. And I had to go and get it signed off. So I took the car back to this mechanic, right? And I wrote another one of these fines in the mail, Pauline, just for going and getting a roadworthy from my mechanic, okay, when the transport authority told me that that's what I had to do. I had to take my car down to a mechanic and get it checked over for a roadworthy. So I did this. I totally did this, uh, and I got a fine for taking my car down there, twice, twice Pauline, and, and then the progress of events sees me actually registering the car, because there's a receipt Pauline, right, uh, and there's the inspection report Pauline, right, so uh, I've got all the paperwork here de demonstrating the trail of events, uh, and then uh, I've got this SMS on my phone, which is a threat, Pauline, a, a total threat for following every direction I was told to by the state of Queensland, Pauline. You know, you're a senator in the state of Queensland, so uh, I don't know what they want to enforce. It's like $2,200 or something. Now, I could show you the cash. I've got $2,200 to deal with this situation, but do, do you think I should pay for fines for taking my car for a roadworthy, Pauline? Do you think that's pretty kosher? Do you think that's kosher at all? Having to be fined for doing what the state asked you to do, go and get a roadworthy from a mechanic so you get a camera fine on the way down the hill to that mechanic twice. And then you go and register your car and complain at the transport authority that like these are coming through uh, and they're not the responsibility of the transport authority, so they can't do anything about it because these are fine enforcement orders where they threaten to come and take the actual car away from you that you tried to register, Pauline, that you actually tried to register. I mean, I'm bewildered. I'm totally mind-blown, like, mind-blown, Pauline, uh, as to how this comes about, especially when, uh, and that's the kicker, is that all those fines that we had to deal with, which were from long before, were already paid. Were already paid, Pauline. And then I tried to be a good boy after I'd paid off everything. Because so I asked Spur for a total bill. And they sent me one. They actually sent me one in the email, Pauline, and I got it. And, and I went and printed it. Here it is. Right? So, you know, pay, pay your debt. Uh, and... It had the total amount on it, and I paid it. And then I went to register my car, and just doing that cost me more, Pauline. Totally cost me more. I'd like this to be explained. 
Now, g given the, the lateness of this, we'll pay it. Well, we'll use the funds to pay it, Pauline. We'll totally use the funds to pay it. Okay? A and then we'll have a look at this uh, other problem that came through in a fine. Uh, but it, we'll look at that at the full extent of the law, Pauline. But because I've tried to be a really good civilian in, in Queensland, Pauline, and these peacekeepers have been pretty good. Like when I was at Jinjin, they were fantastic. They, they came out to the property, they were fantastic. I never had a problem with Queensland uh, until your Nazis started getting a little bit Nazi during the Ovids and the Jabby Jabbies, right? And then all the ones that you had left were the ones that accepted it. Mandates, I think they were called. Rule 92 offences here. And those jabby jabbied, you know, those, those subordinate ones, they're the ones that keep pestering and causing fear, Pauline, uh, over things like this. Where, where they've got it on their computer system, where they, they can manipulate things. Oh, you've got many red flags on your computer. But I tried to do the right thing, Pauline. I totally tried to do the right thing. Am I making a mockery of it all now? Am I totally making a mockery of it all now? Or do we have to actually physically see the car go off the property while I wave two and a half grand cash for the fines? I mean, it's up to you. We, we could get around to paying the fines, Pauline, and then, then, then arguing them post-fact and saying, pay us back. But this is where we're at, Pauline. You didn't see all of this as waiting to play a game? And now the game starts, so we've got other people that are starting to not be able to use things they've been using for the last 50, 60 years. Why do you think that is, Pauline? Use of the fruits got something to do with that. Rules of usufruct and naked ownership got anything to do with that? I mean, we've got all this paperwork here to go through that is totally unfair, Pauline, and monetary costs that normal person out there would ha have to squirm over. Because that's a lot of money, Pauline. That's a lot of deliriums to have to pay, Pauline. There's totally a lot of deliriums to have to pay for trying to do the right thing. Go and have your car roadworthy and getting done by your AI camera system. I bet you no man touched this fine, Pauline. I bet you it was all automated in the mail and boom, boom, boom. And no one's going to rebut it. No one's going to walk into court and do anything about it. Because, and that happens how many hundreds of thousands of times a day, Pauline? Oh, is, that, is that human trafficking? Is that human trafficking, Pauline? I mean, these are questions that we need to ask of you, Pauline. Is this human trafficking? Pauline. So, to everyone else out there, uh, we do have the funds to play this game. For all of you. Right? And it's an unfair game where they've set this up. They've set this up in an advanced AI system where those... Days will tick quickly and mail gets sent out and you're accused and photos are taken and all these things happen and you have no recourse to their AI debt collection system. And that's what we're looking at here, Pauline. We're, we're totally looking at that here while I've got the funds to deal with this and, and take it to court, Pauline, and deal with the other matters that have occurred and speak to the people about the loss of their rights of the use of their fruits, Pauline, uh, at the merger of usufruct, Pauline, the merger of usufruct of a constitution, who has a right to? Would it be those naked owners? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Who's committing the war crimes? Let us think. I'll leave you with that, because we'll deal with this. Or would you like this old car here? This old car here for sale. I'll sell it to you for market value, Pauline. Seven and a half. Seven and a half thousand market value. Go, go and have a look on the old uh, carsales.com.au. I'm sure the state will accept it for two and a half, won't they? I, I'm sure they will, even though there's two and a half cash sitting aside for it, isn't there, Pauline? So the value of the car is greater than the debt. Pauline, uh, and the cash for the debts in my hand here, Pauline, uh, and the actual trail of events saw me trying to do the right thing to the state of Queensland by
going and getting at this old car here roadworthy to Pauline to make sure it was safe on the road safety for Queensland right always safety for Queensland so always made sure it was safe for those children we wouldn't want to impact the other children on the roads Pauline you know for, for road safety we did that and then we went out and double checked it and got fined a second time and then paid rego and then got hit by spur because that's what Queensland is, isn't it, in this whole entire game? It's a fun game to play, isn't it, Pauline, that all these Queenslanders just can't afford to play. But when they put 20 bucks in and 5 bucks in and help donate to play, we get to play, don't we, Pauline? We totally get to play with a car and cash and spur notices and fines that shouldn't exist in the first place that all oh, of the Queenslanders just can't afford to play. So their little tiny bit helps me play on their behalf to show you the mockery that your systems become when cameras and AI can impact someone that's done the right thing, Pauline. It's kind of amusing. It's kind of hilarious that you would be willing to impact someone by taking their property, the car, or putting them in jail, Pauline, over a fine. What was the Bill of Rights say? So Acts Interpretation Act 1984, not Acts Interpretation Act, sorry, Pauline, uh, uh, Imperial Acts Application Act 1984, Queensland, and we go down to the Bill of Rights 1688. No fine or forfeiture, Pauline. No fine or forfeiture. And that's in the legislation, Pauline. So uh, uh, Imperial Acts Application Acts 1984, Queensland. And then go down to Bill of Rights, uh, Mary and blah, 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 1688. And then it says, no fine or forfeiture without what? Without what? Without what? Judge, jury and executioner in what? In that little... Well, I think I've got one here somewhere. Oh, I think I've still got it somewhere. The, the little... Oh, that's the roadworthy. No, no, that's not the, the little ticket. Because it was a camera fire that just appeared in the mail, wasn't it, Pauline? Oh, I'll leave it at that. Because I think the people need to realise what trafficking is, Pauline. Well, what the public and the private is. Anderson versus Commonwealth, 1925, Pauline. Not a member of the public... Anderson tried to be a member of the public because he wanted to complain about Queensland sugar, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Queensland sugar. And the federal government said that Anderson didn't have a right, Brevin Manu, to uh, act on behalf of Queensland, Pauline. He wasn't a member of the state of Queensland. He wasn't a member of the public. He was in the private, Pauline. Uh, therefore, he didn't have a right to speak for the sugar industry. So... I don't have a right to speak for the police. I'm not speaking for the police. Nor, nor am I speaking for Spur or the Queensland Government. I'm asking all of them, what the fuck's up, Jack? When you try and do the right thing. And then they still screw you.